So this is the mitochondria. It's got an outer membrane. It's got an inner membrane. It has these complexes along the inner membrane. At the end of the day, we call them the power plants of the cell because they increase the ATP. ATP is energy. This is what you spend. This is what you, uh, if you if you need to run, if you need to breathe, if you need to digest, it all costs ATP. Right? If you don't have any of this, it's not good. The gist of these complexes is that they take electrons and they move it to the kind of uh, from the inside of this inner membrane to the outside, and they build. Um, these little complexes in the mitochondria, they're little proteins that sit in the membranes. Okay. And their job is to basically like shuttle electrons through them into this inner membrane space. And it's not beautiful. But then what that happens is that creates a gradient, right? So it creates a higher okay. concentration out here of, of, of ease. And then at the very end, the last one shoves them all back in and spits out ATP. Okay. So the cool thing about laser is that like the way it works is it stimulates one of these complexes to just work faster. That's it. Okay. So you like you have like like eight ten nanometer of light, which is like in the red spectrum. Yeah, I believe red. Maybe infrared. Might be on the border. All right, don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but what it, all it does is it just makes this work faster. So it pumps more electrons out more and more and more creates a better faster gradient and then you make more ATP in like your knee and the ATP does heals okay. so like you have you have like a like so say you have an injured ligament in your knee right or you have injured cartilage or injured something injured muscle you have like chondroblasts these are cell these are like um, uh, cartilage cells and, 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 and uh, soft tissue cells what they do they all have mitochondria so if the you know cartilage of your knee or the ligament of your knee is damaged you can bathe it in laser mm -hmm. and those cells which are damaged and trying to repair because your body's always trying to repair itself when it's broken right it just has more energy to do slow. it with yeah it just has more energy to do it with so it can help you heal faster Interesting. that's why i love it and that's why like physics is so exciting and like using light and laser and electricity is fun because you do this without drugs and you're literally working with like the dollars and cents of the cell not not like a you know not like a chemical yeah. it's like an electron and that's so cool and you're working with the body right you, all you're doing is speeding up a process it already does but what do the drugs do well there's no drug that does this okay <laughs> that's the thing there's no drug that does this right so it, they're not doing anything. What they're what they're doing is that like the knee hurts, <laughs> and the drugs decrease the hurt. Mm. That's what that's what they do. Okay. And eventually, like this is working to heal, right? So the drugs decrease the hurt while this is slowly healing. So doesn't pre doesn't preclude the place for a drug to reduce the hurt. Though one will argue that things like ibuprofen actually inhibit proper repair. So like you can go on a tangent down there and it's not the best idea, but like all the laser does is make this heal faster. It does have some other Speeds mechanisms. Up the process. Yeah, it does have some other mechanisms of like reducing pain too. So you can use it in different applications that will allow for that. But like at the core, this is it. Which is neat. So yeah, all the drugs do is reduce the hurt. But this is happening. Hopefully. Right? Hopefully. But like the like shittier your mitochondria are like the less well they do that but like there's other things that stimulate mitochondria function as well like ribose and creatine like there are, there are temp like uh, nutraceuticals that will help kind of speed that up by basically just forcing uh i would say forcing but, but providing like nutrients that are going to allow for all this as well but at the core that's why light therapy is awesome so that's for mitochondria